Hello guys, so for today we will be bypassing the frequency converter of a sparkle unit and I will show it to you on what are the things that this to be considered why I come up with the uh, frequency converter. So I'm going to show you the conditions and what made me come up to bypass the frequency converter. Come on and join me. So we had a rough weather in the Pacific. And during the river rounds, this unit was found off. And another Starkul unit which is having compressor overload alarm. The first thing I did is to switch on the unit. And I let all the components to run. As per my observation, I found out that the compressor stays at 15 Hz only. The discharge and suction pressures are constant at 1 bar. In this case, I normally put the system into manual operation. I will run the evaporator motor and the condenser motor. This is for me to monitor the reactions of the current once I switch on the compressor. Which in this case, the compressor did not make any impact on the current reading. So I tried to increase the frequency of the compressor, but the sound did not change. And the pressures remain constant at 1 bar. That's why I assumed that the compressor is not running properly. Since the frequency converter is the one that controls the speed of the compressor, so I have decided to open it and see what is happening inside. So after removing all 6 volts, this is what I saw. So it is confirmed that the frequency converter is burnt. So I have decided to remove the frequency converter and bypass it. We just need to remove these line wires and the three communication cables. In order for us to remove the frequency converter, we need to remove the four Allen screws. The reason why I am bypassing the frequency converter is because of the weather. Because if I will put a new frequency converter, once I open the back portion, the rainwater might go inside. And if that happened, then we will have a back job and we need to replace again the frequency converter.
the instruction to bypass the frequency converter is written at the back cover of the unit. Good thing that we have this bypass kit. But in case you don't have the bypass kit, you can also make your own bypass kit. The bypass kit has already the double-sided tape and two locking bolts that will be fitted on the same spot where the frequency converter is being fit in. Make sure to tighten it properly so that the water will not go inside as well. Once tightened, then it's time to put the compressor terminal cable. Ensure that it is fitted properly. And there is already allotted cable connectors for the power cables. I normally followed the numbering from 1, 2, 3 and from the top of the cable connector all the way to the grounding cable. Once tightened and the cover was fitted back, then it's time to switch on the unit. Once switch on, you need to go to the configuration, FC type, and change it to none. After changing, the display will appear emergency operation. After that, for final checking, you need to wait for the compressor to run. This is of course for us to know if our compressor is still okay after having a burnt frequency converter. And so far in this case, our compressor is still okay, as you can see on the current reading. And after waiting for some time, the unit went in range. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And please continue to support this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you.